lots of clouds today and the cold weather continues too. And what did I read today? How about this one? It looks really interesting in terms of a drone. This one says pulse jet drone flies could have big impact on cost of future weapons. A Baltimore-based startup has recently flown an experimental drone powered by a pulse jet engine, a type of power plant that has few moving parts. In contrast to a conventional turbine offering the promise of low-cost jet performance, Previously, the company Wave Engine Corp received U.S. Air Force funding to develop a decoy powered by a pulse jet, a power plant best known for its infamous use in World War II. Meanwhile, the potential for the same propulsion technology to make it into other types of drones is something we have examined in the past and is becoming even more relevant given the increasing applications for expendable types. It looks really interesting, I guess, and it says Wave Engine's recent tests involved a Sater D drone, a conventional takeoff and landing design that has a gross weight of around 100 pounds, a maximum payload of 20 pounds, and which appears to be a scaled down copy of an A 10 attack aircraft design. The Sater D is part of a series of drones with external top mounted engines, a configuration chosen to keep the vehicle simple and to minimize development and production costs. For the demonstration flight, the drone was powered exclusively by a pulse jet developing more than 50 pounds force of thrust, equivalent to more than 222 newtons. The flight sequence began with a remote instant start followed by takeoff, climb cruise and landing. In the wake of the test flight, Wave Engine announced its first productionized pulse jet, the J-1, also producing more than 50 pounds force of thrust. Otherwise, the company told the Warzone that the J-1 is a lighter and more aerodynamic version of the engine used to power the Cedar D. And some little technicalities like here it says, in terms of fuel efficiency, the company has demonstrated thrust specific fuel consumption levels under 2.0 pounds, pounds per force hour, which it says rivals the efficiency of more complex and expensive turbine based engines. Wave Engine combines its pulse jets with the full authority digital electronic control in which a computer controls engine performance and this may well be the key to achieving the stated levels of efficiency as well as optimizing performance more generally. So it's always great to see I guess new types of designs and way to do things versus just trying to make things bigger and faster per se like with the same type of tech who knows where that'll lead to. And this is kind of an interesting read with that thought of I guess drone technology, who's going to be the leader and so forth. The first country a lot of people will think of is China. So many people use China made, for example, drones and all that. And how about this? It's kind of interesting to think about if it's accurate. It says China said about 2000 its companies involved in drone manufacture. According to Han Jun, the deputy head of China's Civil Aviation Administration, in late 2023, there were about 2000 companies in China engaged in the development and production of drones. Over 1.26 million UAVs are registered in China, 32.2% more than 2022. Han Jun also underlined that about 20,000 companies in China use UAVs in their activities and 23.11 million drone flights per hour were recorded in 2023 alone. It is noted that UAVs are widely used in the PRC both for personal purposes and in geographic mapping, film and television and aerial photography rescue operations, telecommunications, and meteorological observation. Han Jun also said that drones are widely used in the delivery industry. I mean, that's a lot of companies that are involved, for example, with just drone tech, for example. I know here anyways, it seems like everything's going at a snail's pace and it doesn't seem like there's much innovation anyways. In terms of hardware, you're probably going to be reliant on other places like China. So who knows if that'll change at all. And then I randomly saw this, it's kind of crazy. Imagine flying like an airplane with passengers and so forth or whatever, and all of a sudden it gets struck by lightning. It's one of those things you'd never think about, but like here it says what? Air Canada Boeing 777 getting struck by lightning while departing Vancouver, BC over the weekend. It is what it is, literally. It got struck by lightning. You'd assume just based on what, what you see in things like movies and all that, this thing's toast. But apparently it took off and I guess everything went smoothly. Apparently there are specific designs in these aircrafts, for example, to withstand things, I guess, like 
a jolt of lightning and all that. It's kind of interesting too because everyone makes it sound like it's so fragile for a cold toy drone yet here it was able to withstand a lightning strike. I guess that's a good thing anyways but how about this when you see stuff like this would this make you scared of actually flying or would you just say oh that's cool it could withstand something like this. See you guys later.